For today's video, we got some more Ghost Recon Wildlands. And in this one, I'm gonna be giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get the broken LTO mask, which you can see here. And before we get started to sum things up, basically you're gonna have to investigate three different graves and then go to three different mines. And then after that, you'll have to kill the boss named LTO. But yeah, the first thing you're gonna have to do is investigate the three different graves. And these graves are gonna be located on the border between Pukara and Inca Kamina at a location called the Ancient Cemetery of Miners. All right, so we're gonna be starting towards the south of the Ancient Cemetery of Miners, uh, directly south of this road that's near the cemetery. And the first one's gonna be located between these two huts. You see one hut right there, and you see the other hut over here. Uh, the first grave's gonna be located in between these two huts. And an easy way to spot the grave is to look for one that has candles. Uh, as you can see here, there's candles directly in front of this grave. So when you walk up to it, you'll see the option that says investigate. And I'll go ahead and pull up my map so you can see the exact latitude and longitude. But all you have to do is just walk up to this grave and select the option that says investigate. Anyways, once you've collected that one, you'll then need to collect the grave that's towards the east. And we'll go ahead and fly over there so you can see exactly where it's at. Uh, when it comes to landmarks, what I look for is the hut that is located over here. And the hut that I'm talking about is this one right here directly to our left. You can see it right there. Uh, once you see that, go ahead and land your helicopter right here. And you should see another grave that has a bunch of candles on it. And just like with the last one, you just need to walk up to it and click investigate. Also, if you look towards the bottom right, you'll see the latitude and longitude of where this one's located. Anyways, after you've investigated that one, you'll then need to go to the western side of the cemetery. So we'll go ahead and hop in the helicopter and fly over there now. And what I look for over here is this shack that you see located right here. Because the grave's going to be located not too far from that. Once you fly past that shack, uh, you'll see another grave that has some candles in front of it. And like with the previous ones, you'll have to walk up to it and investigate it. And I'll go ahead and pull up the map so you can see the latitude and longitude for this one. So that's the first thing you're gonna have to do in order to get the broken LTO mask. You're gonna have to visit these three different graves that have candles on it. Now after you've completed that, you'll then have to go to three different mine locations. And the first mine you're gonna wanna go to is the Old Silver Mine, which is located in Pukara. Once you get there, there will be some enemies directly outside of the cave entrance. But after you kill those enemies, go ahead and walk inside of the cave. And there's going to be quite a few enemies that are going to be running towards you. Go ahead and take them out. But I'm going to go ahead and show the exact path you need to take in order to get where you need to go. Uh, just keep running in this direction. And when you get to this area, there's going to be three more enemies with red facial paint. Go ahead and take them out. And once you take them out, all you have to do after that is just walk up to the statue and you'll see that the statue says Pukara. And once you've done that, you're done with the first mine. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Now the second mine you're gonna have to go to is also located in Pukara. And this one's called the Pilka Mine. And once you get to that mine, you'll see an entrance near the railroad tracks. And I'm gonna go ahead and show the entire gameplay so you can see exactly where you need to go. Uh, there will be more enemies in this mine as well, just like with the last one. Uh, go ahead and take them out. And once you take them out, you're gonna see like a little fork in the road. The direction you're gonna to wanna to go in is towards the left. And once you go in this direction, you'll see a couple of miners. You'll also see some more enemies as well. And go ahead and take out those enemies. And just like with the last mine, after you take out all of those enemies, uh, you're gonna see another statue. But yeah, there's gonna be quite a few enemies in the mine, so make sure you keep an eye out for them. But yeah, after you kill all them, you'll see another statue. And this one has a hard hat that says ruin. And once you walk up to him, you'll be done with the second mine. And all we need to do now is go to the third one. Now the third mine is gonna be located in the Malka province. And if you're wondering the exact location, just look at the latitude and longitude that's in the bottom right. But yeah, once you get to this area, you'll see an entrance to another mine. And just like with the last two, you're gonna have to walk inside of it. Uh, there's going to be some enemies located in this one as well. Once you get to this fork in the road, you're going to want to make a left. And just keep following the path that you see in this video. Uh, once you get here, you're going to continue walking straight. And just like with the last one, there will be enemies located in this one as well. I went ahead and took them out to make the video a little bit quicker. 
but just keep going in this direction and eventually you'll see the third statue there's also going to be some enemies located around that statue that you have to take out but yeah once you get to this location you'll see the third statue and this one has a sign that says fortress so now that we've done the three graves and the three different mines all we have to do now is eliminate the boss named El Tio and in order to kill El Tio we're gonna have to go back to Pukara and to be specific we're gonna have to go to the Inca fortress that's located right here at Pukara and when you think about it the three words that were on the three statues in the mines were Pukara, Ruin, and Fortress so it makes sense that El Tio is going to be located at the ruined fortress that's in Bukhara. And once you get here, you're going to see a bunch of Santa Blanca soldiers. Just look for the one that has the red mask. And he also has the lieutenant symbol above his head. And you can either take him out yourself or take him out using a sink shot or a mortar or however you want to take him out. You don't really need to take out any of the other enemies. And once you take him out, you will get your new broken El Tio mask. Anyways, I'm assuming that this is probably going to be the challenges we'll have to complete for the last week of Season 4. If that's the case, be sure to come back and check out this video in order to get your rewards for that week. Also, I will leave a link to where I got all of this information in the description below because I didn't find it myself. But yeah, as you can see here, this is what the broken LTO mask looks like. It looks like one of the horns is broken. It also looks like it has scratch marks on the mask as well with a little beard at the bottom. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.